वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम 1.37 सो स्टेटमेंट इज लिंक बी सी इज सिक्स मिलीमीटर थिक एंड हैज विद ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर एंड इज मेड अब ऑफ स्टील विद फोर फोर एटी मेगा पासकल अल्टीमेट स्ट्रेंथ इन टेंशन वट इज द फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी यूज इफ स्ट्रक्चर शोन वॉज डिजाइन टू सपोर्ट अ सिक्सटीन किलो न्यूटन लोड पी सो यू कैन सी दिस इज द स्ट्रक्चर वेयर देर इज ए पी लोड ऑफ वन सिक्सटी न्यूटन किलो न्यूटन लोड इज अप्लाइड दिस इज मेंबर बी सी हैविंग थिकनेस सिक्स मिलीमीटर एंड विथ ट्वेंटी फाइव मिलीमीटर सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द फैक्टर ऑफ सेफ्टी फॉर दिस मेंबर बी सी सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन सो वी विल यू कैन सी दैट ड्यू टू दिस लोड दिस दिस स्ट्रक्चर ए डी विल मूव डाउनवर्ड क्लियर काजिंग दिस मेंबर टू एग्जर्ट अ फोर्स like this so let this is fbc so we will analyze uh, member we will use i will write it use bar acd as free body diagram we will draw free body diagram and we'll show the forces acting on that so for that i will draw it this should be like a line and then there is a this is and at this end we have a fillet of this so this is your point a where if we remove this support so we will have a reaction force let this is this force is a y at this point this force is a y i will write this this force is a y let this is a y and this force is a x similarly this is the point c where we have a a load that is fbc and this will be in this direction fbc and this is point d where we have a load of p that is acting on it this is p okay now you can see that uh, distance from a to c this perpendicular distance is given as 480 mm and from if i extend it so from a to this distance is 600 mm i will show you this is the point a so this load and perpendicular this distance is this from a to c this distance is this so now we have free body diagram we can apply the equilibrium condition that sum of all movement about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise movement as positive so about point a one load is fbc and perpendicular distance is 480 and it is producing counter clockwise so it will be positive the second movement will be p into perpendicular distance is this 600 and it is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write 480 is perpendicular distance into fbc clear minus p into 600 is equal to 0 so when you calculate it you will get 480 fbc minus is equal to 600 p so fbc will be equal to 600 divided by 480 times p and you have p is equal to 600 divided by 480 multiply by p is 16 kilo newton so 16 into 10 to the power 3 so when you calculate it you will get fb will be equal to 20 into 10 to the power 3 newton 
now you have force in this member bc clear and uh, we have been given ultimate tensile stress is equal to 480 megapascal 480 megapascal in tension tension so this is the load of uh, member bc so in member bc the load will be like in member bc the load will be like this due to the third law of uh, newton third law so fbc is in will be this one okay so we have been given ultimate strength is 480 megapascal so from here you will get the we know that ultimate stress is equal to ultimate force divided by the area clear so from here you will get f u f ultimate is equal to sigma ultimate into area sigma ultimate is 480 megapascal so 480 into 10 raised to power 6 and what about the area of this so its width is given and thickness is given thickness was 6 millimeter which in meter is 0 0.006 and width was 25 millimeter that is given as 25 millimeter so 25 in meter is 0 0.025 so when you calculate it you will get f ultimate is the 10 raised to power 3 newton now f ultimate is the maximum force that can you can apply it which will cause the deformation in this member bc but our working um, load in fbc is 20 kilo newton so we will find the factor of safety so factor of safety we know is that it is equal to f ultimate divided by f normal which is fbc here in this case so 72 into 10 raised to power 3 newton divided by 20 into 10 raised to power 3 newton so when you calculate it you will get factor of safety is equal to 3.60 so it means our uh, design is 3.60 times safer due to a load of 16 kilo newton and this was all about problem 1.37 i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video thank you for watching